Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. I'm Luke and it's that time again where we introduce our new products for the month. This month we have a whole bunch of new products which are accessories for the Stick C. So let's have a look at them one by one. First up we have the Stick C Beetle. Basically it's a PCB base with a bunch of motors on uh, which can turn the stick C into a mini car. It also has a bunch of RGB LEDs on the base and a nice connector so we can slot the stick C onto the car. Okay, then we have a little switch on the back to turn it on. So I'll demonstrate to you in a moment how we need to get this up and running. Our next product is a Neo flash for the stick C. So you may have seen our Neo flash for the M5 stack before. It's basically a matrix of RGB LEDs which are individually addressable and it comes with two different types of solder connectors. One so that we can have the stick C um, displaying from the back and another type of connector so we can have it parallel to the device. So also show how we can get connected, got set up with that in a moment. And lastly we have the Stixi Yun hat or hat Yun. Okay, you might be wondering what is a Yun? Yun, this little Chinese character here, means cloud. And so this is kind of a cloud device which is designed to kind of snap onto your fridge or mount on a wall, it has two magnets. It has a little hole there for screw mounting. Uh, on the back here, we have five volt and ground. This, this also comes with a little cable here so we can um, attach an external battery if we need. And then if we look on the front, we have basically this docking area for the stick C to slot into. And then it's got a bunch of sensors inside. So over here we can see an LDR a light sensor. And then over here we have basically the same sensors as you would find in an ENV module. And it also has an array of RGB LEDs around the outside. So it's kind of like a little display, which uh, might be handy, you know, for updating you on the weather, uh, notifying you, you could just like slap that on the fridge. So we'll also see how to get set up with that in just a moment. So back to the beetle, we'll slot that in there. And I've already pre-programmed this. You can check in the links, there is a link for uh, Arduino code for the Beetle. Okay, so now we've uploaded the code to the Beetle C. We can see on the screen Beetle C followed by the MAC address of the device and then a password. Simple 128 password. And now we can use our smartphone, computer, tablet and search in the Wi-Fi networks. And I ha have here at the top, Beetle C. It's an access point. Okay, now it asked me for the password, so I just enter the password that's on the screen of the device. Very secure password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then join. Okay, so may, as you may have noticed previously when pairing the Wi-Fi for the M5 stack, or using the ESP camera, we always use the same IP address. It's the one that's set up by default by the ESP32 chip, which is 192.168.4.1. Okay, and then we add a forward slash and then the letters C T L, short for control. 
So now if I go, we can see this simple user interface with two levers and also change the color of the RGB LEDs. So basically that's a simple program that's pre-installed when you buy the Beetle C. But you can have a look in the Arduino code and make some modifications yourself and see what you can come up with. Okay, next up. Next up we have the Neo Flash for the Stick C. We recommend that you use the Fast LED library for Arduino. In the examples, there's just some small changes that we need to make. First, we change the defined number of LEDs to 126, as there was 126 in this grid. And also, we need to change the data pin to 26. Okay, and now, lastly, on to the stick yun. Okay, lastly, we have the yun. So the yun is a kind of display unit, you could say. Uh, we have our stick C slotted in here, and it's connecting to the sensors inside and displaying them on the screen with the stock program. So we can see the temperature there, humidity, air pressure, and also the value from the LDR. And we can see already the LEDs are programmed to turn on. We can change them in the code. You still have your Grove port there available, so we could attach some sensor and then have it do something with an actuator depending on the temperature or light value, etc. And uh, that's about it. So uh, that's it from me today for introducing the new products for this month. If you have any ideas of what you'd like to do with these products, let me know. Leave a comment down in the comment section and give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.